Okay, so on the last uh, rotor we had to take off uh, seven tenths of a millimeter and uh, I guess this will be probably about the same. We'll start by taking out the, uh, the edges. I may have to take back that part I said about the rotors uh, not being warped. Uh, yesterday, when I when I had them uh, up and indicated them, I I didn't notice any any uh, warping in them. But right now, it certainly looks like there were, and it was the same on the other rotors. So uh, maybe there's some some uh, unevenness to them.
So final pass, another 10, and it looks like we're gonna be able to take the same amount as we did on the on the last rotor, seven tenths. Just as nice of a finish, seems to be working very well with that Sandvik insert. And there's no heat at all on the, on the brake disc, which is very good. So uh, some chamfering here, and, uh, and then we'll flip this disc around and do the other side. problem here and uh, the problem is really that I don't have enough uh, indicators uh, and I have no other way of holding the uh, the brake disc uh, in this uh, to do this side so what I'm gonna have to do here is indicate it between the chuck jaws and then move it out turn it and go back in and uh, this is this is going to be just as good as any other indication method method but it's going to take a hell of a lot of time so uh, well that's just uh, sometimes what you have to do when you don't have enough tools Any 
and two. Twenty-two. Nineteen. Twenty-one, twenty-two. So it took about half an hour, but now it's actually perfectly uh, indicated. So uh, we're gonna try and make some some passes on this side here. And uh, we're going to use the, the same amount of, uh, of uh, well, the same, same technique we did, we did uh, when we did the other side. So we're probably going to have to take about 7 tenths of a millimeter. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll finish it off with a, a 0 0.1 millimeter pass, finishing pass. take uh, 0 0.1 millimeter passes because I uh, really don't want to stress the, the disc en uh, enough to uh, to make it move in the, the chuck jaw so I'm gonna it's probably not a problem but I'll just take it really easy with uh, with uh, 0 point 0 0.1 millimeter passes
So that's the last side done. And uh, just a quick chamfer and then we're, we're uh, done with this little project, I think. It really is a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. And the two brake discs are done. So uh, now we'll uh, let the guy who owns them know. And uh, he is going to test run them on track a uh, couple of days from now. And I will be making a second part of this uh, uh, kind of a follow-up video on this uh, after I talk to him after his track day um, because I really want to know how this uh, how this worked out so uh, uh, yeah I'm uh, I'm going to make a follow-up video just uh, just a quick video where I where I tell you uh, what he he thought of it so uh, as always thanks for watching always nice to make videos and uh, yeah subscribe and like thanks bye